What's up, Pisces? How y'all doing? Time to go ahead and bust out your October 2020 reading. I greatly appreciate y'all for being such good sports and waiting. I'm getting this video out a little bit later than I would normally like to, but went out of town to California and had some fun and, uh, you know, that's needed sometimes. So anyway, thanks again for your patience. Anyway, if you would like information on scheduling a personal reading, that's in the description of the video. Okay, that includes pricing, how to get a hold of me, how to schedule, one-on-one uh, -on -one video calls, law of attraction advice and guidance. Dude, you got to look in the description, man. It's all in there. All right. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's get right into this. Pisces, October 2020. Pisces Universe, what do we got here? What do we got? Pisces. Pisces. I'm looking for a jumper here. I would prefer a jumper. If one doesn't jump, no. You just have to shuffle right into it. Yeah. Let's get three more shuffles here. Three more. Seven of Wands reversed, okay. So that, I don't know, that's kind of like Seven of Swords reversed, but uh, I definitely feel like, um, okay, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands reversed, overall, the underlying energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's been waiting on an apology, okay? Um, I feel like you, uh, it could be a Leo that you're dealing with, but you're just too drained. I think that this right here, this particular connection was just too draining on you, okay? Um, when it all comes down to it, when we connect with a person, for whatever reason, it either adds to us or it drains us. It adds to us or it drains us, okay? And at the end of the day, this is one of those connections that even those of you who dumped lots and lots and lots of um, energy into it, it still just drains you. It didn't build you up, okay? Okay. Um, I see communication coming in right here, but I don't really think it's the type of communication that is expected. Okay? So, could definitely be a third party situation here. Dude, we got three of pentacles, three of cups, three of swords. Okay? But uh, I don't really think that this is the communication that is expected here. So, I think it's going to probably pop off into an argument. Um, the way I see it here is that they're going to communicate, they're going to reach out and communicate to you. And, um, I don't know if you're expecting an apology or that, that's what it looks like to me right here. It looks like, um, I'm waiting on an apology and it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Okay. So pow, it pops off into an argument. That's what's, that's what that's looking like to me. That's what that's looking like to me. Okay. The person that you're dealing with right here, I don't really think. I think that there probably could be somebody else involved here. And I think you know this. I think you know this, okay? There's more than one energy in the mix here. So that's another thing that's probably got you pissed off. And you're still heartbroken anyways, okay? That's the thing. If we are ever going to mend unfinished business, if you're still heartbroken, you're still hurt, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It just won't work, period. But... Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and look more into this person here because I don't really think that they're taking this very seriously. I think you're taking this very seriously and they're just either they're not or they're not uh, acting like it. Okay. I think that you wanted to see a little bit more, um, a little bit more of an effort, a little bit more sincerity than this. And, uh, it's just not happening here. Let's look at the person that you're dealing with here. Okay. Past person first. Those of you not dealing with or connecting with a past person, this is not for you. Uh, this is for Pisces people dealing with a past person only, okay? We'll read the new person here in just a minute. But let's look at the past person Pisces is dealing with. Oh. Let's see if we can get a jumper here. Oh, there we go. All right, Knight of Wands reversed. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three more. Eight 
Eight of Pentacles reversed. Four of Swords, King of Pentacles reversed. The Devil card. <clears throat> Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Yeah, see, look. Ten of Pentacles. So I think that this person right here, some of you could be dealing with somebody who has addiction problems, drug addiction, alcoholism. Others, others of you uh, are dealing with somebody who cares about everything but the emotional aspect of things. Uh, with the Page of Swords, Page of uh, Cups reversed, could be an air sign or a water sign that you're dealing with here. And the Ten of Pentacles, look. Ace of Pentacles, could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever they are, this right here is very cold, okay? Very, very cold. Not the type of um, sentiment and emotion and love that you're actually wanting here, okay? I think this person is very, very, very independent. And again, Seven of Wands reversed. Apology. I think that both of you have been waiting on an apology from each other and it's not working. It's not happening. You're not apologizing for what they think you should apologize for, and they're not apologizing for what you think they should apologize for, okay? It could be a Taurus card, or the Taurus, there's the Empress card, Judgment, and Four of Pentacles reversed, yeah. So, this right here looks very karmic in nature, okay? Very, very karmic. Now, when I say karmic, I don't mean bad or punishment or, you know what I mean? Like, that's not what I mean. It could be for some of you, but when I say karmic in nature, what I mean is this is a soul, an entity that you were involved with in a past life, and there's some sort of plan that you're trying to work out that you keep fucking up from lifetime to lifetime, okay? And usually, like, the vast majority of the entities that are stuck on the karmic wheel, speaking of the karmic wheel, there it is, um, you're going to just stay on it. From lifetime to lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. Da, 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 da. Just trying to work it out over and over and over and over and over. The only way off is to release and let go. Okay? To release and let go. So, let's look at the new person here. Let's look at the new person. New person that Pisces is dealing with. New person. Ooh, there's that strength card again. Ah, oh, King of Cups reversed. Okay, five shuffles. One, two, three. Two more shuffles here. Card. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with here. Ten of Pentacles reversed, Five of Cups reversed, Nine of Swords. There's a little bit of nervousness here, though. Okay, some nervousness. Uh, I do think that you all are making more forward movement than you realize. Okay, but with the Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands reversed, I see a lot of comparing the past to the future. Okay, and this, this is something that is so common. So, so common. I see this come up so frequently. Um, I'm going to keep comparing you to the last person that screwed me over, right? Um, I don't really see this coming to an end. I do think that you all will make forward movement, but it's going to be a rocky forward movement, especially throughout the month of October, where aren't we, for the most part, experiencing Mercury retrograde? We just came out of two big retrogrades just to get smacked with another one. Mercury, dude. Ah, oh, don't you love that? Don't you just love it? It's like, fuck, man. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, I do think that it's going to be very important, okay, with this five of cups in the reverse here, in the heart of the spread, that if you and this person want things to keep going good, throughout the month of October, it's going to be kind of rocky. It's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride. That's to be expected. It's not just going to be with you and this person. It's going to be a bumpy ride, period. It's going to be a bumpy ride at work. It's going to be a bumpy ride with your family. It's going to be a bumpy ride with your friends. Um, just period, okay? The best thing you can do is monitor your thoughts and emotions, okay? That's a big water sign challenge, but you can do it. I've met water signs that have mastered this, okay? Monitor your thoughts and your emotions. Do not become your emotions. Become the observer behind them, okay? Vibrate higher than your emotions and your thoughts, 
Um, and that ability to do that will really help you uh, during periods like this, okay? Because then you can catch it and redirect it anytime that you need to. I'm not saying that it's easy, but it is possible, especially in times like this, when you are the observer of you. Oh yeah. I don't see anything too, too terribly bad happening though between the two of you, okay? I do think it's gonna move forward. This is just gonna be a little test, a test to see, oh, okay. Well, if we don't plan to spend our lives together, can we make it through this? If we can't make it through this, then may as well just call it quits now. But if we can make it through this right here, hmm, okay. Good dealio. That might mean that there's some potential here. All righty, well, let's look at the outcomes resting in the current moment. Outcomes resting in the current moment. Okay, there will be an overall advice for all Pisces, followed by the outcome with the past person and then the outcome with the new person. Outcomes resting in the current moment, October 2020. Okay, the Emperor. All right, let's get four shuffles here. One, two, Three and four. Page of Swords. Okay. So, overall advice, Pisces, listen up very careful. Okay. It's very important to communicate exactly what's on your mind. Okay. Very important. No, it's not always the easiest thing to do, but articulating what's going on inside of you is very important, okay? Only control what you have control of, okay? If you want to be in control of your life, in control of your love life, in control of your emotions, in control of yourself, you have to understand that you're only in control of so much. You're only in control of so much. The rest of the things that you do not have control of, like other people, what other people think, how other people feel, that's not under your control. The only way that you could actually guarantee for those things to work against you is to try to control them, okay? You have to let those things go. Only control the things that you have control of and the things you have no control of will follow suit, okay? Um, the outcome with the past person here, here's three of pentacles again, three of cups reversed. I think you're gonna find out this is a third party situation, okay? There's just too many threes. Three of Pentacles, three of Cups. Those were in the very first spread too, okay? Page of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Lots of earthy energy. But either way, I just don't really see anybody opening up, okay? And actually expressing the real, true connection, okay? Uh, then I think you're probably gonna find out more than likely that there is a third party, okay? Now, what does that mean? You fill in the blank there. But I do think you're gonna find out that there is some other energy in the mix that uh, doesn't need to be there. If you're going to try to pick things up and pick up the missing pieces, there's this other energy in the mix that mm, is gonna definitely, definitely throw things off balance. Let's just put it that way. Eh? Outcome with the new person. I think that you are gonna decide to stay with this person. I think that a final decision is going to be made not to put this to an end. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. I also have Aries here. Um, could be anybody though. I do think that you're going to make a decision not to put this to an end, not necessarily to back away or try to accuse anybody of being this way or that way or anything like that. But um, I do think you are going to be struggling to find a sense of happiness. Okay. This is one of those types of situations where you start to realize where is happiness really? Where is happiness really? Where does it really come from? You know, doesn't come from, a lover, a lover can't bring me happiness. Not in the bank. I can't go to the ATM machine and withdraw happiness like I think I can. Where the hell is it at? Where's it at? A lot of people are still looking out here. I don't know. I don't have anything to be happy about. Well, it's not out here. If you're right there, it ain't here. <laughs> and that's the cool thing about Mercury retrogrades and, and Saturn and, and all these, like, dude, that just all this bombardment we get from the sky. That's the cool thing about it. 
is because sometimes we kind of get a little bit lost in, oh, okay, my love life's going good, I'm making good money, whoop de whoop yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, the sky starts screaming at you. You know, planets start going in retrograde, full moons and whatnot. And then you start realizing, ah, you know, it starts twisting your brain around, right? And you start realizing that, huh? That's not where happiness was. And happiness is just one little full moon away, you know, or, or Mercury retrograde away from mm, my mood completely changing. And oh, 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 I feel weird, you know. So it's an inside job. It's an inside job, okay? It's an inside job. So that really actually, the way I choose to perceive it is it gives me the opportunity to pop away and say, oh, okay. Well, here's some knobs and levers that I can twist and here's some, you know what I mean? Like, ah, here's some inner work that can be done. Here's a belief system that I can work on dismantling and tearing apart. And here's a memory of a thing or a person or something like that, that I could sit with and, and grab the deeper meaning behind it, you know, or just all kinds of stuff like that, man. To me, it's an opportunity for self growth. It is a plateau period the plateau period for sure it's not really there's no major liftoffs happening here not really it's a plateau period for growth and learning okay so anywho now it's time for the meat and taters of the whole reading things to watch out for and advice moving forward so those of you new to my channel the cool part about this spread is this is for everybody 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 Everybody, I don't care who you are. I don't care what your sign is. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, or green. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, gay, straight. I don't give a damn. If you are a person, if you're a supporter, if you're a hater, I don't care who you are. You can take something from this, okay? Every last one of you watching can take something from this. Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. But yes, it is for, for my Pisces people. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm not saying it's not for Pisces. But don't think it's just for Pisces. If you're watching this for some other reason, don't think you can't take this advice. Oh, yes, you can. Boom, boom, seven of wands. All right, five shuffles. One, two, three. Two more shuffles. So watch out for people. Dude, one of the most toxic things that you can do is attack somebody and then belittle them for defending themselves against your attack. Don't do that. I don't care if you know this person or you are this person. Okay? You cannot attack somebody and then belittle them for defending themselves. No, no, no. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Okay? Um, watch out for people who are always on defense. Okay? Always on defense. Always. Always, 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 always. Right? Watch out for that. Okay? Because essentially what that does, if you are always on the defense, even like you're out in public, you know, and you know that person, you know, you know, you know that you know that person who has that mentality of constantly looking over their shoulder. They don't trust anybody. You know, they're always on defense. Somebody new comes into their, you know, like, oh, we meet a new friend. Oh, I don't trust them. Oh, I think, you know what I'm saying? You know that person. Well, eventually, what, what's going to happen when you know somebody who's always on defense with trust issues, you're going to end up being somebody who um, they can't trust. Okay? When you, can't, when you have that big of a trust issue, the universe has no choice but to keep handing you evidence that supports what you believe. Mm -hmm. And if you're hanging around somebody that has trust issues that bad, you're eventually going to be part of that crowd. Well, yeah, you are. Don't find it. Don't make it up. That's the way it works. Absolutely. Okay. Watch out for people who do not know how to maintain a healthy balance between their logical and their emotional mind. Okay. So it seems like there's always two teams of people, team logic and team emotion. Uh, and it seems like everybody's trying to root for one team. You know, emotions are bad. Your practical mind is the only, you know, part of you that you should be functioning with. And a lot of other people say the exact opposite. No, 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 no. Logic is bad. Emotions are the only thing that matter. Well, guess what? Y'all are both equally fucking wrong. <laughs> you are given a logical and an emotional mind. 
okay? The goal is for the two to come together and join hands and work together as a team, dangle butt. All right? Not, not to, oh, well, I have an emotional mind, but I have to bury it. Why? No, you are not. There is not a single human being on this planet that was not giving every, given everything that they need, uh, period. If it's inside of you, you can figure out how to use it. Some of you are using the parts of you that you have incorrectly, but if it's inside of you, you can figure out how to use it, okay? So you were given a logical and an emotional mind. It's time to bring the two together, okay? Ah, uh, ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. Unfinished business. You will feel a very strong sense of unfinished business between you and the person that you're dealing with, okay? Especially those of you dealing with a past person. Here's the thing. You have to pay attention to your internal guidance system, Okay? If you still feel that energy cord, it's not time to do it. It's not time to fix it. It's not time to finish unfinished business. Not if you still feel that energy cord. Not if you still feel yourself or the person energetically attached. Mm -mm, it's not time to do it. Wait until, and here's the funny analogy that I like to use. Wait until it's like a piece of cheese. Like, you know, you bite the pizza and the cheese, you get, eh, it's all weak, it's so thin, you barely feel it. Then go back and finish unfinished business, but not while you're still attached. Not why you're still attached, okay? Oh, watch out for, well, I, all right, so here's the thing. Greedy people, greedy people. Now, there's a difference between whether or not you're in the position to help somebody and whether or not, like if you have 20 bucks in your pocket and somebody asks you, for 20 bucks, yeah, no, sorry, I can't, this is my gas money. You're not a bad person. And if somebody tries to guilt you into thinking that you're a bad person, they're fucked up, not you. What I'm talking about is, oh, you know you know that person. Oh, you just cashed your tax refund check, you got like $7,000 in your pocket, all your bills are paid, you're just going and playing around and this homeless man asks for some change and you tell him no, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Don't, uh, 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 Watch out for that type of mentality, whether you know this person or you are this person, okay? If you're in the position to do something, you better do it. You better do it or you're just a piece of shit, like I said. Um, also, too, right now, again, throughout the month of October, don't make any solid, firm decisions just yet, okay? There's going to be lots of opportunities, to want to say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start working towards this. I'm gonna start trying to manifest a business. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like I'm really gonna start doing this. And you're really like trying to fix whatever's going on in here, okay? Because that's just the way, the way things are happening right now with the things happening in the sky, it's putting you in a place of discomfort and, and, and uh, just discomfort. And the first thing we start doing is we start thinking of ways to fix this. All right, well, I'm going to start looking for a new job or looking for a place to move or, you know what I mean? Don't make any solid decisions just yet, okay? It's very good to write things down. What's bothering you the most today? What is being affected the heaviest today? Write it down. Write it down, okay? After a while, you can look back at your notes and say, ah, oh, okay, these are the things I need to work on if that makes any sense, okay? But we're not gonna be able to do it right now. These things happen to highlight things that need your attention, that need healing, okay? And that's all you really need to do, is sit with it, give it attention. What I always do is I figure out, and this, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all before I head out of here, I'm gonna tell you one of my secrets, okay? It's not really a secret, but this is one of the tricks that I've used and this is how I always, always make sure that I come out on top, okay? Regardless of what, I, what happens to me, regardless of what I go through, this little trick right here, and I learned this years ago, okay? If something happens to me right now, I immediately picture myself in the future talking about it as if it happened for a really good reason. Now, what is that reason? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But the first thing that I do is I, I connect to my future self and start fantasizing about me talking about this like, dude, man, this thing happened to me a year ago, two years ago. 
and it, it, it was really freaky and, and scary at the time. But man, I'm so glad that that happened. I never would have learned this. I never would have would have figured out what I need to do in order to, you know, become successful or in order for my business to work or in order to keep my relationship together, you know? See, you are the one that has the ability to assign a meaning to everything that happens to you in life. You're the one that does it. Yes, lots of people are going to try to do it for you, okay? But even if somebody else tells you what something in your life means and you believe it and it turns out to be true, you're still the one that did it with your belief system, okay? You're the one that has the ability to assign meaning to your experiences. So when something happens to you, it's up to you. Did this happen to me or did this happen for me? Did this happen to me? Am I a victim of this thing that happened to me that's out of my control, blah, 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 and poor woe is me, you know, not to downplay anybody's experiences, or did this happen for me? make me stronger, to teach me so that I can learn and become more wise and become a better version of myself as a result of the things that I've learned in this experience. Whichever one you choose to believe will manifest. Okay. If you choose to believe that you're just this victim of things that happen to you, then you are absolutely right. You're just going to be nothing for the rest of your life, but a victim of things that happen to you. And that's just all you're ever going to experience is more things happening to you. But if you choose to believe you are here to learn and grow, watch. Connect to your future self. When you do that, you are actually connecting to an aspect of you that exists out there in the quantum field. Everything is existing right now. How do I pull those timelines forward? I connect to my future self and I start saying, man, I'm so glad that thing happened. Dude, I, I learned so much. And I start consciously saying, all right, universe, I can't wait for you to show me what this is for. Hell yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. That's the mentality. Not the, oh my God, oh my God, I need to try to control this. What happened? Blah, blah, blah. I'm a victim. Oh, this thing happened. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, it's your fault. Oh, it's their fault. You know, that's, that's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's going to keep you stuck. It's going to keep you stuck. Okay. We have to pop out of that. Did this happen to me or did this happen for me? Don't try to figure out why it's happening right now. Don't sit, don't do that. Just picture yourself in the future being able to look back and understand it. Picture yourself in the future being able to look back and understand it. And not only be healed from it, but be thankful for it. As long as you understand that there is no such thing as failure, the only people who fail are the people who abandon the path. You either succeed or you learn. If something isn't a success right away, well, you learned. Now you're more wise. Now you're more fit for that day that you are successful. If another thing isn't successful right away, okay, now I'm even more wise. Now I'm even more knowledgeable. Now I have even more experience under my belt that is going to help me the day that I become successful. You stay on that path. As long as you understand there is no such thing as failure, unless you quit, that's the only thing you can do is quit. You can't fail. Okay? As long as you understand that, nothing is stopping you from succeeding. Nothing. Nothing. Okay? Anyway, I feel like the message, messages my Pisces people needed to hear have come through. I greatly appreciate everybody for tuning in and playing along, man. Remember to look in the description of the video for information on scheduling personal readings. That does include the pricing for everything that I have, how to get a hold of me, law of attraction advice and guidance. A lot of people have asked me about that. If you want to find out how to schedule that, look in the description of the video, man. It's all down there. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now, though, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. All right? Y'all have a good one.